Okay, I'm going to try and keep this video short. Um, we're going to look at how to expand uh, brackets or double brackets with thirds. Okay, so let's just get right into it. It's really, really similar to expanding brackets with algebra. It literally is no different. So, for example, if you had something like 3x times 7x plus 5, then that would be 21x squared plus 15x, right? If you expand it, and it's exactly the same sort of principle, but we've just got this extra third bit to worry about. Okay, so let's just do the first one here. Okay, so on the outside, we've got one thing here, 2 root 3, and we're multiplying root 7, take away 5. Now, root 7 is a third, take away 5 is just the integer, so we're going to multiply these things here. Now, remember, I'm going to exaggerate this first one, so 2 root 3, we're just going to multiply it with root 7. Okay, so remember, it's thirds with thirds and numbers with outside numbers with outside numbers, inside numbers with inside numbers. So the 2 isn't, well, technically there's a 1 in front of that root 7, so it's technically 2 times 1, but we'll just put 2. And then root 3 times root 7 is root 21, so the start of this is going to be 2 root 21. Okay, there's a takeaway in the middle, so I'll write takeaway here. And then the last part is going to be 2 root 3 times 5. So times 5. Now 5 is not a third, it's just a num regular number. So what's it going to multiply? Well, it's going to multiply the 2 that's on the outside. So it becomes 10 root 3. Okay, so the number on the outside multiplies numbers on the outside. Technically, there is a, if you want to think about it, there's a root 1 there. Root 1 is just 1 anyway, but, you know, if you didn't quite understand that. But um, the 2 is an integer, and the, the the 5 there is an integer, so you multiply those two, two things together, and the root 3 you kind of get stuck on the end. Okay, now this is the answer. Okay, there isn't anything we can do with that, because root 21 can't be simplified, and... Really, I mean, that's it, really. You can't remember what I, what I said to you. Remember, you can only add the same thirds together or take away the same thirds together. So there isn't anything you can do with that one. Okay, so let's just do the next one. Uh, so let's go into the second one. Or what you could do is you could pause the video and do it yourself and then see if you get it right. Okay, so this is what it would be. So first of all, root 7 times root 7. That's root 49. Okay. Root 7 times negative 5 is negative 5 root 7, because you can't really do anything with that one. Then you do the inside one, so it's 3 times, then you move to 3, sorry, you multiply that as positive 3 times root 7, that's positive 3 root 7. And then it's 3 times minus 5, which is minus 15. Okay, so that's that, but we need to do a bit of simplification now. Root 49, that is a square number, and the square root of 49 is 7. Minus 5 root 7, add 3 root 7. We can do something about that. That's take away 2 root 7. And then the end number is minus 15. Okay, now the last bit we can do is 7. Take away that 15. Well, that is minus 8. So, and then you just put minus 2 root 7 on the outside. So that is the answer. And really, there isn't anything you can do with that one. Okay, so I hope you got that one right. Okay, I'm going to do the last one now as well. Okay, so let's do this one. So root 5 times root 5 is, I'm just going to do it up here. So root 25. And then root 5 times negative root 3 is going to be negative, first of all. And it's going to be root 15. Okay, because remember, square root 5 times square root 3, square root 15. Okay, then we move to the next thing in the first bracket, and we multiply these two here. So first of all, they're both positive. The answer is going to be positive. And then it's 2 root 3 times root 5. That's 2 root 15. And then the last things multiplied together. Okay, so one's positive, one's negative. There's going to be a negative. 2 root 3 times negative root 3 is going to be negative 2 root 9 okay now if you didn't quite get that what you might want to do is just write 2 root 3 times root 3 like this and then it becomes clear as to why it's that and because it's positive times a negative then it's a negative there okay now we need to do a bit of simplification 
Okay, so root 25, that's the same as 5. Minus, technically that's minus 1 root 15, add 2 root 15. So that's going to be positive one, 15, 1 root 15, or just one of them. So it's like, think about it as minus x, add 2x. That would be my, that'd be positive 1x, wouldn't it? So that's what I've just written here, is positive 1 root 15. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. Root 9, the square of 9 is 3. And then we're doing two of those. So then the end is going to be take away 6. Okay, so think about why that is. The square of 9 is an integer, it's just the number 3. And then there's a 2 multiplying that, or technically there's a negative 2 multiplying that. So 2 times 3 is 6. But then there was that minus, so it's minus 6. Okay, now um, 5 take away that integer 6 is minus 1. So this is it, minus 1 plus root 15. There's your answer. Okay. You, you really need to practice this to get it right. Okay, what you could do is have a go at these three questions. Now, by the way, I'm just going to start you off. Remember, a bracket squared means there's two of them. So technically, this is what you're actually doing on that first one. And what you want, what you could do is pause the video, see if you can do these three questions. The last one's a bit of an odd one out. See if you can do all three and then unpause the video and I'm just going to reveal the answer. Okay, so these are the answers. I hope you got that for the first one, that for the second one. The last one is an odd one out. There's no simplification in that at all. There isn't literally nothing you can do. So you have to leave it like that. Because root 10 is not a square number, so you can't square root that. And then the middle two aren't the same third, so you can't add them or take them away. And the last one is just kind of stuck on its own. Okay, so I hope you got that. Okay, so now it's probably best for you to have a go at the caboodle exercises and probably have a go at memory. It's question one to five uh, only. And I think it's the right page number. Uh, I think it's page 371, exercise three, I think it is, from page 371. One to five only, please, okay? And all right, okay, thank you for watching, guys. I know it's been long, but, you know, it's worth it. Thank you very much, guys.